Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm so happy you guys want to tune in for the second episode of my 30 day trial with Reason Plus. In this series, I'm going to break down my creative process writing from start to finish. And the first few episodes will lean towards writing whilst the second half is more focusing on production. In this first episode of writing, we're starting the process of writing our song. And I thought it'd be a great idea to do it the best way possible, by collaborating. I will be joined by no other than Laurel Barker. She is one of the most talented people I've ever worked with. Originating from Canada, now living here in Malmö. Please welcome Laurel Barker. Okay, so we're in the studio and I think that Laurel is finally here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's sound. Everything is syncing. You need one of those like. Tsh yeah. Thing. So tell me, Laurel, could you give me like a short, short introduction of yourself? I'm a Canadian singer songwriter living in Sweden now, and um, I released a few top 40 singles in Canada before songwriting took me to over 20 countries in the last, I guess, three years now. Yeah, just really fortunate to be making music for a living and working with great people like you. So the plan yeah. for today is we're doing a song. Yeah. And I thought... We're going to try. We're going to try. <laughs> we're going to do our best. So my thought of it is to make sort of just the most basic song, making cool. a great lyric, making a yeah. great melody, Sort of creating some sort of hook. I don't know. Yeah. So that's the plan. Woohoo! Wish us luck. So I have really nothing prepared right no, now. No, that's great. I was actually just gonna ask you, like, what kind of song you're sort of. You know, I would, I would really like to write a happy song or okay. like. I don't know why. I just had this title, "Selfish Love." It sounds really cool. Maybe slower too would be cooler, like yeah. slightly laid back, like watermelon sugar vibes. Mm -hmm. have to be. We got a selfish love, I got a good do do do. And a selfish love. And then start. You got a bum bum bum. That's nice. It's more selfish love. You got a bum bum love. I really like that. I got a selfish love. So, should we talk about like what we've done today? Because yeah. uh, we've done a pretty cool song. Yeah, yeah. I like so it. So, what's the title? It's Selfish, Selfish Love. Selfish Love. Selfish Love. Yeah. And what's the song about? The song is about, I mean, it sounds so mean, doesn't it? But it's actually about like realizing that you're in love with someone and you really want them to yourself and you're going a little crazy yeah. for them. Yeah. And it kind of admitting it. Yeah. You know? And like through the process here. So, so we've. We've written a verse, uh, a first verse, a pre-chorus, <laughs> and then a chorus, and then we did a second verse, and that's what we have so far. Yeah, we started with our song title and our hook, our chorus, and we wrote our chorus pretty quickly. And then major. And like banged out the lyrics. I got a selfish love, not giving you up. As soon as I felt it, I knew it was selfish. And then you sang them in. I got a selfish love. I can't get enough. And then we wrote the verses. Um, and then we put it all together. I got a selfish love. I love it, baby. You, you sound so fire. That's our song. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, what I would say about this song is it has actually a lot of chords. It has a lot of different chords yeah. in different sections. It, which is exciting because yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. So yeah. some songs is for chords yeah. all through. And, and, and the, yeah. And lightning. Exactly. And that's awesome when they mm -hmm. make that interesting for three minutes. We'd love to hear it. Yeah. In <laughs> this case, we have a few more. And that the one of the interesting discussion was we had some some uh, difficulties uh, going between the sections with the yeah. chords. Do you remember? Yeah, but it's just so important, like more and more and more I'm realizing yeah. how important it is to 
pick the right chords for your melody. Yeah. It's, it makes such a difference. Sometimes I, I uh, write a song with someone and then they go and produce it elsewhere and then they send it back with different chords and I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> like, this is not the song, you know? It makes such a difference yeah. and Max Martin would argue the same thing. Yep, I totally agree. What's your top three advice to improve your song melodically? I would say the first thing is not to come in in the same place with your melody in each section yeah. in the bar. Yeah. So like, for example, if I start on the one, like, here we go, I'm gonna sing my song in the verse, No. then I don't want my chorus to be on bum, the same bum, beat. Bum, bum, like, bum, bum, bum. No. I wanna keep interest and keep the ball rolling momentum wise. So often you can do that by playing with like the rhythm in the melody. So if you don't wanna see me dancing with nobody. Actually, that's a great example because then her chorus comes before the beat. Don't stop now. You know, yeah. so it's it's there's all that rhythmic variation to help push and pull the song in terms of energy and flow. I just love that. Um, my second suggestion is to use different ranges in like the singer's voice or your own voice if you're right writing for yourself. Um, so just making sure that not all sections, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, or post-chorus or drop are in the same range yeah. the whole way because that also creates a linear feeling, a redundant feeling, and you lose interest. So should the chorus be this huge, soaring hero note? Well, sometimes, but also like Taylor Swift did, look, look what you made me do. And it's very yeah. like not that. Yeah. So it really depends on the song. So it's all about the dynamics, basically. And that Switch it up, yeah. yeah. Switch up the pitch, switch up the rhythm. Yeah. And then I would say the third one is just repetition is queen and repetition is everything and keeping things just so like singable and easy like i mean max martin is amazing at that he'll take melodies from his main chorus and feed them in other yes. instruments yeah. in the song just to keep that repetition coming so that by the time um the chorus comes you feel like you know it already yeah. and it's just like in your brain and then you're sleeping and you hear it when you're asleep and it's just kind of genius so um a lot of the artists that he works with like reuse melodies and rhythms in their song in different sections and in the instrumentation just to keep it um to keep the message clear the yeah. melodic message clear i think that's really but smart. they do it in a smart way too so they don't they won't do it like too obvious either so you have no. to so sometimes it takes takes yeah. a few listens before you're actually noticing that yeah exactly so um, yeah Great yeah. advice. So, I mean, we started the process really simple today, and that's how we oftentimes like to do it. That's at yeah. least how I like to do it, with just a straight off just a piano, some vocals, making the foundation yeah. as strong as possible. And I think we've achieved that. And from here, when we have this great ground to stand on, we're basically just adding the layers. After that, it's all about creating uh, the production and also arranging the song to make it as efficient as possible. And that's like going to be really tough because there's so many directions you could go with this because it is such a strong song and concept and like melody structure that it's really going to be interesting to see where you take it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Laurel, for Thank being you. with me here today. I had so much fun. It, it just it, it took some of the pressure off me to have you here because I really felt like <laughs> I wanted to make a great song. I really like this one. This yeah. might be my favorite one we've written so far. Yes. I'm just so happy about the song. It feels really special. You're constantly chasing a feeling inside of you and when you hit that feeling, it just it's so satisfying. Even though it's like one of the hardest jobs to ever have like financially and just the stress the stress levels are crazy, but it's the most fun. So uh I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a special one to me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Till next time, see you guys soon.